But, uh, Wednesday, June 16th, you know what I mean? Uh, live from Chicago, Illinois. I'm at the crib. I'm getting a little bit of R&R watching. Yeah. What's left of this Entourage DVD. But, um, really, I just wanted to check in and let you guys know what's going on. What's been, what's been on my mind, what's been on my bird. I want to apologize first and foremost for the fact that the, the second leg of the crowd control tour um, was postponed. I was really excited about doing a lot of those days, including the, especially the Midwest ones. You know what I mean? Like that's, you know, home and where the heart is. And a lot of those fans don't really ever get to see kids in the hall show. So I was kind of bummed out, you know, not to mention, you know what I mean? Like, I guess money is one thing. It's, it's one thing to say, oh man, money, 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 money. We missed out on money. That's true too, but the main thing is is we get to see the fans and we get to go to markets that we don't normally go to. And people tell me on Twitter that when are you coming to my city? And I, you know, I thought I was gonna fulfill some of those requests during this last leg, but it's cool because uh, you know, in the meantime, in between Tommy and Double O, we've been making mad records. We've been working. We've been inspired again. And um, I know we just gave y'all the land of make believe, but we're already working on um, a couple of projects. I think we're going to put out a, a EP at the end of the summer for y'all. And we're working on a, a new album that will probably come out next year, you know. But expect a single as soon as, you know, fall, you know, or winter, fall, winter. Like, we're already kind of listening to records and, and um Sounds real good. It's going really dope, and I've, I've been really inspired. I've been back listening to a lot of old school, like West Coast, like MC8, and obviously Snoop, Dr. Dre, NWA, but then even more stuff like just a little bit more obscure, like Caution and Far Side and um the High Road stuff planet asia like i've been just been listening to a lot of different stuff um a cat by the name of sly boogie who a lot of people might remember from the swaying tech freestyles he was he was around during that era um well really i've just been trying to get back into the lyricism side of things you know um i had a conversation with lupe about that just as far as like the the new generation at the hip hop honors thing that Bun B through me and him were talking about just where the state of the game is right now and and, and new lyricists and how we kind of got to stay together and bring the shit back to like how it used to be back in that time period of the nineties with gangster shit blended with the backpack shit blended with the thoughtful emo shit blended to the flossy pretty boy rap the pimps the hustler rap all of it if if it's good and it has quality. Um, effort put into the, the song structure and the way the beat sound and the way it knocks, man, and it just feels good. That's that's the main thing. But keeping everything pushing forward, um, look out for a lot of new material. I'm working on a, a mixtape with DJ Moondog, and we gonna, you know, that's. I think I'm gonna put that out on my birthday, which is September 10th. So keep looking for that. The 20 something project, September 10th. It, you know. Don't call me on that if it don't come out. But I want to say it will come out on my birthday. I'm going to give a gift to y'all. Hopefully you give me the gift of going and getting it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm still trying to, I don't know, kind of round that into shape. All the songs are done. We're just trying to pick and choose how to mix certain songs and, and put features on certain songs. Um, So it's a lot of new music being made and in the process of, these shows being canceled, I think me and Double O might have made an album last week. Uh, just between me and him, we might have made like 15 songs. You know, and we're really happy about how those songs are turning out. And on Friday, Pomona, California, it's going to be a dope show at the Glass House. Kids in the Hall, Donis, and of course the Cool Kids are headlining. Um, it's that's gonna be a real show. We're gonna rage out. If you are in the LA area, you should come. I don't know nothing about Pomona or the Glass House, but I know Donis puts on a great show. The cool kids put on an amazing show and we put on a great show and we're excited to get out to LA. So, you know, I think doors open at eight o'clock, Glass House, Pomona, California. 
After that, you know, I headed to New York to do some more recording and take some meetings. Um, a lot of people don't understand, man. This R and R thing for rap, man, it's tough to get. It's real tough to get. So I'm, I'm getting it right now. If you can see, if you can see, like I got PJs on, I got, I got straight up pajama pants on, G. Like <laughs> it's real out here in the field, man. It's real, it's real. You got me out here just really in the field, just during my normal hours, you see the remote, you know what I mean, it's nothing going, on. I might get me a cocktail later, I'm thinking about maybe going to the J-Bar, but there's nothing for real going down like that, but that's neither here nor there, um, we so excited about LA, we recording, we come back July 13th, um, July 14th, we have BB Kings in New York for the Ducktown Showcase, after that, July 15th, we are in Philly at TLA. So you got to check these shows out, man, and really and really stay in tune. So the, although the, the last leg of the crowd control is done, we still doing what we do. So come check us out. We're going to rock with you. We want you to rock with us.